Excited to premiere their routines for an audience of VIPs, socialites and politicians tried out the new plush seats and found themselves gasping at the scale of it all. Out front, the red carpet was marred with show business luminaries and sports figures. There were 19 acts on the bill that night, but the ones who stole the show were the Roxy X, who in short order would have their name streamlined to the Rockets. Rockettes became a sensation performing all kinds of dances, but none more popular than their holiday routines done between movie showings as a Christmas gift to Radio City patrons. The tumultuous events of the 1940s saw the Rockettes leaving their home at the music hall to entertain American troops halfway around the world. In the 50s and 60s, they would create happy memories for a whole new generation of fans. By now, the Rockettes were TV stars in their own right. As much a part of New York City as its famous skyline, one success followed another. The Rockettes were riding high. But the 1970s brought hard times for New York and for Radio City. Would the music hall close its doors? Did the Rockettes reach the end of the line? They try to determine whether or not Radio City Music Hall can remain open. Just after midnight, an agency of the state government of New York agreed to step in to keep the music hall shut down. The comeback of Radio City Music Hall would parallel the renaissance of New York City itself. With the incredible 1999 renovation and gala reopening of the music hall, once again Radio City made headlines around the world. And the tradition goes on. For Radio City and the Rockettes, there will always be new horizons to explore, new adventures in the world of entertainment, and a New York City that Roxy Rockefeller could hardly have imagined. But the Christmas Spectacular will always be the music hall's signature event and the one most loved by its stars, Radio City Rockets.
Joseph went up from Galilee unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary, his espoused wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered. And there were in the same country shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them and said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you the tidings of great joy. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, the Savior, which is Christ the Lord. Sands, following the star 